Ten on Sports Central. We go over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in week two of this 2021 college football season. And it's going to be for the Washington Huskies and the Michigan Wolverines. And this was looking like a big matchup before the season started uh, coming up here in week two. But, of course, last week Washington had a terrible loss against an FCS team, Montana. Uh, the Grizz knocked off Washington last week 13-7, which was a pretty terrible loss. I mean, if you're Washington, you cannot take a loss in that game. That should be an easy win. Um, and kind of a confidence booster heading into uh, week two, which it definitely was not. For Washington, uh, now you've got a pretty tough situation because if you lose this game, you're 0-2. And, I mean, for Washington here, if you can get a win, that will somewhat help turn around your season, but it's going to be tough for the Huskies to win in Ann Arbor, the big house. Michigan last week had an outstanding game against Western Michigan, completely blew them out, and the Wolverines overall looking like a pretty good team right now. So it's a very important game for both teams heading in and we'll be over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today starting out with your team trends last week once again huskies lost to montana 7 to 13 and so they're 0 and 1 to start the season once again cannot lose to montana that should be a given um, and that should be an easy win but that was definitely not the case which credit to montana but i mean if you're washington that is a terrible loss probably one of the worst losses we've seen uh, but for michigan we got um, a win against Western Michigan, 47 to 14. They took care of business last week. They're 1 and 0. Uh, and the thing is, too, it also is in Ann Arbor. It is not in Seattle. So uh, for Michigan, that's also going to give them an advantage for sure in this matchup. This game is going to be on Saturday, September 11th. Once again, in Ann Arbor, 8 p.m. Eastern time at 10 prime time as well. So pretty big stage uh, for a pretty important matchup here. Uh, Michigan is currently favored by six, according to the spread. Uh, 51 is the over-under. Yes, Spin FPI has got Michigan 82.6%. Serious history, Michigan leads at 7-5. We've not seen these teams play since 2002. And the win streak is Michigan by one. So uh, we've not seen a whole lot between both these teams uh, playing against each other. So that'll make it even more interesting heading into this matchup. Here's your stat comparison. Washington last week had 7 points per game, 13 points allowed. Uh, these are 2021 current stats. So these are the stats from last week. Uh, they had 226 pass yards, so not terrible there, but only 65 rush yards. This team could get nothing going. I mean, the offensive line played terribly, and same thing with, I mean, the rushing court just could not get anything going. Uh, they allowed 105 pass yards, 127 rush yards, so obviously a pretty low scoring game last week uh, for Washington. Then for Michigan, they have 47 points, 14 points allowed, 216 pass yards, 335 rush yards. So Michigan completely ran over Um uh, the Broncos of Western Michigan last week. And then for yards allowed, 191 pass yards, 126 rush yards. So overall for Michigan, not a bad game last week at all. If you're looking at some key points for this matchup, obviously Washington is 0-1 hanging into this game. So, I mean, once again, brutal loss to FCS team Montana last week. Um, and that's what makes it such, I mean, this was going to be a crucial game for Washington, win or loss. Um, in week one. I mean, for Washington here, now you've got to flip the script. You've got to get some momentum back before you go 0-2 because if you start the season 0-2, that puts you in a really tough position because now going into the Pac-12 uh, part of the season, I mean, you're already two games down. Um, and so for the Pac-12 North, I mean, that's great news for Oregon. Oregon is uh, that much more of a favorite to win the division now. But I mean, for Washington, that's once again, a very tough loss there. Um, in week one, you cannot take a loss in that matchup, especially considering how tough of a division that they have in the back 12 North. I mean, Oregon and Washington are always neck and neck. And I mean, yeah, for Oregon, I mean, it's that's great news for Oregon, but for Washington, it is uh, very devastating for sure. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of uncertainties at this point um, for this Washington team. And I think, I think the Huskies are still a good football team. Like there's plenty of talent here. I mean, I predicted seven or eight wins for Washington this season, but I mean, it's. I mean, you got to really, you got to really turn it around in this matchup because I mean, you're playing a pretty tough team. Michigan, I think, is definitely a top 25 team right now. Um, or actually, I'd say, I'd say top 30. I think I have them just outside of my top 25 for this week. But you get the, you get the idea. They're, they're actually a pretty good team this year, I think. And for Michigan, I mean, this is also in the big house, a pretty tough environment with fans back in the stands. So. I mean, for Michigan, they're definitely one of the Big Ten teams with huge upside. I think I mean, the Big Ten has got several pretty good teams this season 
I mean, you got in the Big Ten West or in the Big Ten East, you've got Ohio State, you got Penn State. Both of those teams are going to be pretty good. I can see Michigan into that two to three uh, ranking um, in that in that Big Ten East division. So uh, Michigan is a pretty good football team. Rushing core is a huge threat. Once again, as you saw earlier, uh, there were over 330 yards uh, by this Michigan rushing core last week. So overall, Michigan's looking pretty good going to this matchup. Meanwhile, Washington has to catch up. And so it's going to be a huge game here. Definitely an interesting one. It's probably not one of the more impactful matchups of week one, just because you got, I mean, you still got Oregon and Ohio State, and you also got uh, like Texas, Arkansas, Iowa, Iowa State. But this is still a big matchup for both these teams if you're looking at uh, if you're looking at the near future. But looking at my prediction for this one, I think we do see a win for Michigan pretty significantly. I think the Wolverines are definitely the better football team here, especially based off of Washington's performance last week. I mean, you've got no momentum and you're going to Ann Arbor. I mean, it's going to be tough for Washington. I think Washington could keep it close, but especially in the second half, we'll see Michigan start to pull the way a bit. And I think we do see the Wolverines get the win. Probability, I'm pretty confident with Michigan here. I mean, I'd be very surprised uh, if, if Washington won just because, I mean, Michigan, based off of how, de how these teams did last week, I mean, Michigan was by far the better football team. So I'm going to say 75% Michigan. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that we'll see the Wolverines get the win. If this game was in Seattle on the flip side, there's a chance I'd probably pick Washington just because of the home field advantage. But Michigan is the better football team, I think, right now. And the over-under is 51. So I'm actually taking the over here um, at 52. So, um, I mean, that's that's where I'm at is at 52. So I'm one point over um, over that line there. And so, I mean, if you're if you're into betting, I mean, it's this is a very tough matchup to bet on. I would probably predict the over just because, I mean, Michigan could definitely run up the score in this matchup. But I definitely think Michigan should get into the 30s. I would be... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Michigan score 30, maybe even 40 points in this matchup. Uh, but for Washington, that's the big wild card. I mean, Washington can get blown out, but they also could keep it close. I mean, this is a very hard to predict Washington team right now. I mean, they've got the talent to be a good team, but they did not uh, execute that last week. So, yeah, Michigan 35 to 17 is my prediction for the score. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. And I appreciate you guys all watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you guys later.